Daniel. Wow, what? Jordan. You know those books really well. You're doing such a good job, buddy. I've really been working on the poetry books and the major profits. They're tricky. Major profits. They get in there. But I was so, I had so much fun learning all last week, all of those books. It was so fun. Uh, Super I, fun. I did as well, learning all about how God used people through the prophets to speak to his people, give them messages. There were poems, songs. It was yeah. awesome. We also learned that God really cares about our hearts that God sends messages to his people through prophets, and all of that is getting us ready for God's big rescue. Do you think there's more things to discover in here? I think there are. We're only still in the Old guys, Testament. Guys, we're going to be detectives. Oh, oh we're detectives! Got this de new detective hat this week. I think this is the silliest one yet. Yeah, it's pretty silly. It's a little noisy, but... Oh, we like I it. I think it'll help us, maybe. It will. All right. All right, guys, get your hats on. Magnifying glass. Mm. Let's go looking for a clue. Clue, 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 clue. Ooh. <gasps> Guys, Whoa. I found one. What is it? Let's check it out. It looks like another megaphone, but kind it's, of a different color. It's blue this time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a note on the back. Let's talk about it. Okay. So the back of the clue, this note says, the next 12 books of the Bible are grouped together as minor prophets. And that's just because the books are a little bit smaller, but still just as important. And there are 12 of them for us to find. We have Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. And we'll know we found the books if when we find the blue megaphone. Can you at home help us find the books of the blue megaphone? Let's go. Okay, what did we find? I found Hosea, Joel, Amos, and Obadiah. Awesome. I found Jonah, Micah, Nahum, and Habakkuk. Oh my goodness, and I found Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi. That's a lot. Let's see if we can't put them in our bookshelf in order and come back here and memorize them. All right. All right. Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah. Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk. And Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Okay. Who remembers? Clap, clap, lap. Lap, lap, clap. We can do it. Here we go. Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. One more time. Here we go. Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. Yeah. Yeah. That was a mouthful. That was a lot. I know. But amazing and got some questions. Of course you do. Hit I me, need, Josh. You need to know more about these books. Okay, what do you need? need to know some of the notable people in these uh -huh, stories. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Also, what happened to these people. I have just a thing for you, Joshua. All right. Okay, well... The minor prophets are a lot like the major prophets, just smaller. They're all authored by different people. So Hosea wrote Hosea, Jonah wrote Jonah, you get it. So they are all stories of how God's people could not perfectly fulfill the law given to them by God through Moses. So God uses these messengers, prophets, to give God's message of warning and promises, prophecy, to his people. So they all follow a pretty similar pattern. First, the prophet would warn them that if they did not obey God, that there would be consequences. Then second, the prophet would then describe the sin of God's people. Third, the prophet would then describe the consequences of the sin. And then fourth, the prophet would tell everyone to turn from their evil ways and go towards God. Fifth, and lastly, the prophet would describe how God would send a rescuer for the people. All right, so while all of the minor prophets were all equally important, the most famous minor prophet was Jonah. You guys probably know this one. Jonah was told to go to Nineveh and to tell the people about God. But he didn't listen to God, and he went the opposite direction, and then got in a bad storm, tossed overboard, swallowed by a giant fish for three days. Yuck. And then said, okay, God, I'll be your messenger in Nineveh, and then the fish had to barf him up. Double yuck. Jonah then went to Nineveh and many, many, many people believed in God. Hooray! So did that help? That 
That sure did, Matt. Yes. Okay, but I still have some questions. Why did God give us the minor prophets? And why does it matter to us? That's a great question, Jordan. I think I know someone who can help us. Yes! Oh, yes. great! Hi, friends. My name is Kyle. I am so excited to tell you a little more about the next books of the Bible. So today you have learned the next 12 books of the Bible are called Minor Prophets. Remember, prophets are messengers for God, and they deliver God's message to his people like God's mailman. These books are the prophets' messages and stories. They are called Minor Prophets because they are shorter in length than the major prophets. But they may be minor in length, but they're major in God's truths. The minor prophets are important to us because they tell us about God's holy nature and our need for a rescuer. God's people were sinful and broke the promises they made with God through Moses. The minor prophets remind us that God is just and fair. They help us to see the consequences of our sin, but God is also a forgiving God, and he's given us a rescue plan, Jesus. Jordan, your question is so important. Why does God want us to have these minor prophet books? Why do we need them? God is always calling his people back to himself. No matter how far we stray, he wants us close to him. And the minor prophets give us warnings and hope, and they show us what happens without God, and they show us a way back to him. Oh, wow! <laughs> Thank you so much for teaching us about the minor prophets. Let's meet back here and learn more about God's word. Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah. Hi friends, it's Jordan. Oh, wasn't that so fun? We have a few fun other ways that you guys can think, talk, play, and pray about the books of the Bible. Get your grown-up and look at your user guide, and you can play order, order with your books of the Bible cards, answer discussion questions, and pray together. Keep watching this video to learn a brand new hymn. And be sure to check out our Spotify playlist for songs and even a rap all about the books of the Bible. Our brains are like sponges. They can learn anything through a song. Once you've memorized a new book, make sure you mark it on the books of the Bible sticker chart with that star sticker. And we will see you next week. Bye, guys. Ready? We're going to ask the question.
because again, I don't want us to lose the purpose and the meaning of these songs and these lyrics. So I hope you guys had fun listening and I hope you had fun dancing. And now you have learned four hymns. I am so proud of you guys and I hope you had so much fun.